yeah. Um, I want to make this video to encourage other people who are currently going through loss, um, experiencing grief, and honestly trying to navigate and still have a relationship with God when you're angry, when you're broken, when you're disappointed, when you're annoyed, when you're frustrated, when you're confused. And, um... Man, I'm able to sit here today and make this video to testify that God is faithful, that God is good, even in death. Um, I don't understand everything. I don't understand the way the world is the way that it is. I don't understand, you know, and I'm not here to give you answers. I'm not here to try to fabricate and give you these little anecdotes or doses of what I think could be the reason why this isn't that true. So I don't know it all. But what I do know, that God is near to the brokenhearted. Um, in this season of losing my sister, I've experienced God's love on a greater scale. I never imagined that he would love on me the way that he is. And if he'll love on me the way that he's doing right now, he's most definitely going to love on you. And I pray that this video is a reminder to you that you're seen, that you're heard, that you're not forgotten about, and that... It gets better. Um, I'm sitting here in the same house of where I tragically lost my sister of, I seen her body, I seen, I've heard the screams of well, the police, the paramedics, and I'm able to, I still worship, I'm able to. I'm able to get up. I'm able to laugh. I'm able to smile, even though I'm angry and I have moments. Um, but I want to just help someone who is pissed off at God, who hates him. Um, I think of Job, who lost everything, and how his wife said, you ought to curse God and die. Um, for those of you who haven't died or cursed God, and but your heart is still like bleeding, you know, you're still hurting. Uh, I want to tell you that it gets better. Um, that scripture, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, it comforts me. Um, in the season where you feel like this is that valley, this is that dark place, like you've never been in a darker place before. Um, you've never seen yourself or thinking of yourself going through something like you are. Like, how could I be? How could this be? How could I? Why is it, you know? I don't have all the answers. But what I do know that God... He is a present help in the time of need. He is faithful. He is loving. He is kind. Um, and I would think and try to like, I realize that when we're in faith and we're believing God for something, um, we can never supersede someone's will. If someone is tired and they're ready to go, um, then they're ready to go. And um, I pray that, I just want to, I pray that, you know, that you'll begin to, seek God. Um, and in this season, I feel like after how I lost my sister, I just, man, God is enough to carry you. He's enough to get you through. Not only get you through, but grace you through. Man, he, he beautifully pushes you through. Um, and so you have your moments. You tell God, you know, I ain't feeling you right now. You tell him how you feel. Tell him what's really up for him. Um, but don't stay in these places like okay god i i cussed you out basically uh, i you know i expressed this i i went boxing i i did all the sports i ran as much as i could i've cried as much as i could god what do i do now um and when you get to that point where you're like okay god let's talk let's chop it up um how in the world you know and that's what it starts like the bible says that those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth and so um you just have to have those conversations with God, like, God, I need you. God, I I feel lost. I feel, you know, I feel lost but found. I feel angry, but I'm at peace because she's no longer in pain. God, I'm, I'm angry because I don't have a sister. I'm angry because she'll never see me do this. She won't see me graduate, this and that. But God, how do I, how do I breathe? How do I, how do I do this? Um, and let me tell you how you do it. You do it in God's strength. 
Um, there's a scripture that says, um, his strength is made perfect in our weakness. And so you're at your weakest, you're at your lowest, but guess what? You're also at your strongest because God is carrying you. He's carrying you through. You're not going to experience the better side of it if you give up. And one of the things God was telling me, you have to continue to live for you to see it turn around like, okay, God, because I was the point like, okay, she's gone. Like, why do I have to be here? Like, if she can go and be with you, which seems way better than being down here from time to time, like, why? Like, take me. But here I am today in the flesh. He, did, he doesn't want to take me. I've asked him several times. <laughs> he won't take me. I was like, God, oh, this is ghetto. Come get me. He like, no, I have work for you to do. And I'm like, this is ghetto. And I'm not going to off myself. So there's that. So I'm here today to tell you that um, I love you and that you're loved and bad things are happening. And I can't explain to you why I can't tell you why. But what I can tell you is that God will get you through them. He'll grace you through them. He'll take you through with laughter. He'll take you through with joy. And you'll be able to breathe. You go outside. Get up out the bed. Man, you got to get up. You got to get out the bed. You got to get off the sad music. Sometimes you got to hop off of the socials. Hop off of looking at all the pictures. And and just lock in with God. And so, um, yeah. <sighs> got that out. <laughs> um yeah but I wanted to update y'all and encourage y'all because I know there are people in faith with us and believing for our miracle you know for my sister but um my sister's with Jesus and that's the best place that you could ever be like face to face with him um with all of the amazing people of faith with Abraham Moses you know Elijah Elisha Paul, you know, Peter, all them people, you know, and I know she's having a great time and the Bible says, let it be on earth as it is in heaven. And so, um, they're in heaven having a good time and you deserve to have that too. Um, and so this is my faith walk. <laughs> we're, we're back. We're, we're back. Um, and I want to continue to just share where I'm at in my walk. <laughs> And, um, yeah, <laughs> so I love you, um, and don't give up, keep going, keep expressing to God how you feel, most importantly, seek his word, read it, keep reading it, reading it, reading it, read it, like eat that stuff up, like it's, like it's your favorite food, like I love rice, I eat it up like it's rice, bro, rice with the beans. And the chicken and the and the beef, you know, like eat that, eat that up, bro. Eat on his word. Keep reading. You think, oh, I've heard his story. Nope, I'm reading it. God, show me something different because you're the God who's multifaceted. You know, you got all this other type of stuff. You can show me different things. Um, so yeah, I love you, and it's gonna get better. <laughs>